Now this is okay if you're only using it for up-tempo runs, but the Nova Blast is supposed to be able to be used for easy and recovery runs as well. I'm Brandon with Running Shoes Guru. I've run 80 kilometers in the Nova Blast 4, and this is my full unbiased review. The ASICS Nova Blast 4 is a mid-range neutral daily trainer and it's designed to cover all your training needs. When the original Nova Blast came out, there was nothing like it on the market. It was really fun, it was engaging and it was bouncy. It's become one of ASICS's most popular daily trainers. But over the years, it's become less and less like the original version. It's become firmer, it's become more stable and it's become less bouncy. This year, like every other year, we get a Nova Blast with a completely refreshed design. It weighs a little bit more than last year's Nova Blast, but it remains 140 US dollars. The Nova Blast 4 has a firm ride, and it's not only firmer than most daily trainers, but it's firmer than most speed trainers. Now this is okay if you're only using it for up-tempo runs, but the Nova Blast is supposed to be able to be used for easy and recovery runs as well. I only enjoy the Nova Blast 4 for up-tempo runs like heel sprints, steady runs, intervals, and short tempo runs. And the reason is that its midsole doesn't compress so much, so it provides a really firm platform for you to push off from. This new FF Blast Plus Eco midsole is the same one, that's the Nimbus 25, but it feels completely different. The Nimbus 25's midsole feels modern and when you load it, it has a pleasant squish. But this one feels like flight foam from a couple years ago. It's light, but it's firm. A6 says that it has a trampoline inspired outsole to increase energy return. And while I did experience this in the first two versions, in this version, I can't feel the energy return because the midsole is just too firm. There's a new lower density version of AHA rubber on the outsole, and this is designed to improve traction from the previous version, but I didn't notice a difference. The upper is my favorite feature, and it's the best Nova Blast upper to date. It's got this new woven material, which feels more premium, and it feels more foot conforming than previous versions. There are added holes on the top of the toe box, so breathability is better, and there's also a new heel pull tab at the back. The tongue is flat and it's semi-gusseted, but it still slides downwards significantly during runs. And this is because they didn't add a lace loop in the middle of the tongue to keep it up. In previous versions, the upper was a half size too big, but this year they finally got the sizing correct and it runs true to size. By going firmer, I really think that ASICS has gone in the wrong direction with the Nova Blast series. It no longer feels like a versatile daily trainer, but now it feels like a pure speed trainer. The Nova Blast 4 still doesn't have that fun, bouncy, energetic ride, which made it such a popular trainer to begin with. And I'd choose any of the previous Nova Blast versions over this version. If you're a Nova Blast loyalist and you've run in this version, let us know what you think of this latest version down in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and please remember to like the video and subscribe to Running Shoes Guru.